Hello and welcome to this answer explanation video. This video will go through the answers for the negative numbers worksheet and we'll talk through some of the tricky bits. Question one says work out the answers to the calculations below and place them in the correct columns. And we've got six calculations in the question and we have three columns I've written out here. So we're looking to place the calculations in the correct column depending on what the result of the calculation is. So if the calculation results in negative 10 or below, we write it in there. If it results in zero to negative 10, it goes here. And if it results in zero or above, it goes here. I've got a number line that I have uh, printed out here to help me. And that line goes from negative 30 up to 20. So I can use that to refer to if I need it with any of the questions. The other facts that I need to remember are what you do, uh, depending on whether you are adding or subtracting a positive or negative value. Um, so any number that doesn't have a, a sign before it, a positive or negative sign, we assume it's a positive. And if we are adding a positive value, then that's an add. If we are subtracting a positive value, that's a takeaway. If we are adding a negative value, that's also a takeaway. And if we are taking away a negative value, that actually becomes a plus, an addition. So the first question we have, or the first calculation we have is negative 3 add 9. So if we start with negative 3, uh, we are adding a positive value, so that's an add. So negative 3 add 9, so we're adding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and that means it'll be 6, so we are 0 or above. So we have negative 3 add 9 in that column. The next one is negative 10 take away 16. So we know where to start at negative 10, and we are taking away a, a positive value, so we're taking away 16. So that means it'd be an A takeaway as well. So negative 10 take away 16. So I'm just going to do one jump take away 10, to minus negative 20, and then take away 6 to negative 26, which means that we're going to be in negative 10 or below. So this will be negative 10 take away 16. Then we have 7. The next calculation is 7 uh, take away negative 9. So we have 7 take away negative 9, we are taking away a negative value, which means we're actually going to end up doing an addition. So we're going to start at 7, and we're going to actually end up adding 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that means we'll be at 16, so we are at 0 or above. So it is 7 take away negative 9. Uh, fourth question is 3 add negative 12. So we're starting at 3, we are adding a negative value, which means we are actually doing a takeaway. So we're going to do 3 take away 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 3 add negative 12 would be minus 9, which means we're going to be in 0 to negative 10. So we have 3 add negative 12. Uh, fifth one is negative 17, so we're starting down here, negative 17, and we're adding negative 2. So we're going to add a negative value, so we have negative 17, add negative 2, we're adding a negative value, which means we're going to do a takeaway. So that will be 2 going down to negative 19. So we're going to be in negative 10 or below, so it is negative 17, add negative 2. And our sixth calculation is negative 9, add negative 4. So we're starting at negative 9, and we're going to be adding negative 4. So we are adding a negative value, so we're going to be doing a takeaway. So negative 9, and then we're going to be taking away 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, which will put us at negative 13. So we're going to be here again. So that would be negative 9, add negative 4. Question two says, a bank has installed some function machines. Find the missing amounts of money below. On your question there, you can see that you have the function machines. Uh, I have not drawn them on this. I've just put the values that were being given and the missing values where we need to put the amounts of money in. So if we look at A, first of all, we have a negative eight pounds and we need to add seven pounds to get this value here. So we're starting at negative eight. We're adding seven, which means this one will be negative one pound. 
for B, we are given five pounds in the middle. To get from here to here, the function machine here has added seven pounds on, which means we need to do the inverse. We need to go uh, five pounds. We need to take away that seven pounds that was added on, which will give us negative two pounds. From here to here, it is subtracting uh, £6.50. So to get from £5, we're subtracting £6.50, which means we will have negative £1.50. Here, the first we've done for us, we have £1 and we are subtracting £6.50, uh, which means if we, say, if we start in from £1 and we are subtracting £6.50, that will give us negative £5.50. And lastly, we're starting at negative £9.50, adding £7 on, which means we will go to negative £2.50. And then we are subtracting £6.50 from negative £2.50, which means we'll have negative £9. Question 3 says, Dr. Banner is trying to get a mixture to read a temperature of between 5 degrees Celsius and 12 degrees Celsius. And he makes a statement, and the question is, is he correct? Find combinations to prove your answer. The statement that Dr. Fanner makes is, my mixture is currently at negative 17 degrees Celsius. I can reach desired temperature by adding three chemicals to it. And we've got six chemicals to choose from. Dr. Fanner thinks he can pick three of those, which will change the temperature from negative 17 degrees Celsius to between 5 degrees Celsius and 12 degrees Celsius. So between 5 degrees and 12 degrees Celsius means anything from 6 degrees Celsius to 11 degrees Celsius. If we look at our number line here, Dr. Banner's mixture is currently at negative 17. To get to between uh, 6 degrees and 11 degrees Celsius down here on our number line, so we're not negative 17 here, and to get to between 6 degrees Celsius and 11 degrees Celsius, that means he's going to have to increase the temperature by at least 23 degrees Celsius, up to a maximum of 28 degrees Celsius. So as long as we can pick three chemicals that will make a difference in the temperature of between 23 and 28 degrees Celsius, then we will have found three that he could use. So let's just use, uh, let's go for the biggest one on there first of all. So we're going to pick chemical E, and that will increase temperature by 13 degrees Celsius. Uh, let's pick another one, let's go for another um, large number, so let's go for chemical F, and that will make a difference of another 9 degrees Celsius. So if we pick these two at the moment, we'll have a total of 22 degrees Celsius, it will have increased temperature by. So we'll start at negative 17, We'll have added 13 degrees Celsius on, which means we'll be at negative 4. And then we have another 9 degrees on, which means we'll be at 5 degrees Celsius, so we're very, very close. We only need to make a small jump of, a, of uh, only 1 degree there. So let's pick the smallest one we've got, which is chemical A, and that means it will increase by another 2 degrees Celsius, and that will put us at 7 degrees Celsius. So the three chemicals Dr. Banner could pick could be E, F and A. That was a answer explanation video from Flashroom Secrets for negative numbers. If you want to watch a video tutorial on any skills covered in this worksheet, you can go to kids.flashroomsecrets.co.uk. And for any other activities or resources to do with this skill, you can go to flashroomsecrets.co.uk.